With the 75th anniversary this year of the end of World War II, we're going to start with the story of a St. Louisan who was one of the first Americans to make it to Berlin. It was not the person anyone expected, and the military was not very happy with her. In June of 1944, Allied troops invaded Europe at Normandy. Soviet forces were driving from the east and eventually, at a terrible cost, they would crush the German forces between them. The following spring, they would meet at the Elbe River. All that was left was for the Red Army to fight its way to Hitler's bunker in the heart of Berlin. And while the American generals waited outside the capital for the news, a St. Louis woman was already there, writing it. The air is heavy with smoke. Everywhere around us is the clatter of small arms fire. Russian artillery is pouring an almost constant barrage in the heart of the city. Before the war, Virginia Irwin had been a feature writer for the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. She went to London in 43 to work for the Red Cross, and then after D-Day, she followed the troops as a war correspondent. When the Americans stopped at the Elder River, she managed to keep going. Irwin and another correspondent talked an army sergeant into a daring nighttime jeep drive through no man's land all the way to Berlin, where Soviet troops were still battling through the city block by block. The arrival of three Americans in Berlin was the signal for the Russians to break out their best vodka and toss a terrific banquet in our honor. I have danced with at least a dozen Russians of various rank and degrees of Terpsichorean ability. When the American army caught up to her, they yanked her credentials. But these first American eyewitness accounts from Berlin made it to the front page of the Post-Dispatch along with the news that the war in Europe was over. 